This is Intel Radio, featuring investor intel and breaking stories with host Ellis Martin. Today I'm speaking with Anna Gloskin, CEO and Chairman of Eastgate Acquisitions Corporation, trading on the OTC under the symbol ESAQ. Eastgate Acquisitions is an emerging pharmaceutical company exploring drug delivery innovations in the development of novel formulations and alternative dosage forms of existing biologically active molecules, with a current focus on diabetes and non-invasive insulin delivery systems. Anna, welcome to Intel Radio. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks very much. Just recently, Eastgate announced acquisitions that will augment its self-emulsifying submicron platform technology to include a broad spectrum of delivery options. Would you explain to our listeners what this means? Absolutely. Thanks very much for your question. Basically, what we're looking at is that most of the plant natural subjects and also different type of natural substances for Mother Nature basically did not acquire any kind of solubility. Most of these natural substances do not solubilize in water or even in alcohol. Otherwise, we would have need, didn't need any synthetic drugs. We would have just had natural ones. So Eastgate was developing different uh, technologies and different techniques to be able to make these substances more palatable and more absorbable into the human body. At the end of the day, we believe that we have developed a unique platform that allows for uh, natural substances to be available to the body in the amounts that are necessary for therapeutic use. That's why I am just mentioning that because we actually developed of these technologies and some of these then we acquired about two and a half three years ago. Currently Eastgate is working towards acquiring the licensing rights to develop and manufacture an intraoral insulin formulation. This will allow Eastgate the exclusive rights to deliver insulin without needles. Is this correct? Does that mean if anyone else wants to use this technology, they have to license it from you? Yes, absolutely. But let me just suggest the following here. It's a combination of some acquisition, but mostly some of it is development in-house. Because as per your first question, the development of this technology allowed us to also make it a platform, which means that a lot of substances, natural and medicinal and synthetic, could be used as potentially making it into the commercial drugs. The company continuously developing the various methods that are going to allow for different type of molecules to be acceptable by the body. And insulin happened to be one of the most difficult ones out there because it's a large molecule, it's a protein. And when it comes into the body in the way of tablet, let's say unprotected tablet, we call it, just insulin by itself, the body recognizes it as a protein which means that it has to be deassociated and absorbed before it has its medicinal effect. Now, there's a number of proteins that out there that this technology could be applied for and applied to. The whole point of it is we need to bring insulin into the body, of course without needles, but into a mucosa or area of the body where it's going to be quickly absorbed into the bloodstream and only after that disassociated and absorb this protein. That is the nutshell of what we are trying to achieve. And for the past hundred years after insulin has been discovered in Canada as being crucial for diabetes treatment, people try to get away from needles because nobody wants to inject four or five times a year a day. And in some cases, patients have to do that. In order to make a patient-friendly product, people tried everything. And obviously, tablet, because they swallowed the tablet. They allowed the patient to swallow the tablet and then absorb it in GI tract. In GI tract, we have so many enzymes that are breaking down proteins that obviously that was not possible. We, on the other hand, developed products, and I mean, I stress it, it's not just one product, it's a number of products under this platform where we are able to bring the tablet and the other products underneath the tongue into the mouth just for enough time for absorption into the bloodstream, of insulin into the bloodstream. And then, of course, it gets swallowed and then it basically doesn't give any more therapeutic action. Some patients that may take three minutes, in some patients, it takes as long as 8 minutes or 10 minutes. But it's not a problem. It has menthol in, uh, in the tablet, so it's almost like a breath mint. That's how it tastes. But at the end of the day, that is a very small price to pay for avoiding the needles. And the patients can, and, and we're talking about children, elderly, all the patients with diabetes could look forward to not to use the needles for absorption of insulin. So this essentially positions Eastgate and the technology as a real game changer in the sector. As you said, in changing the 100-year-old method of delivering insulin in needle form to something completely non-invasive. And by designing this platform, you are opening it up for a variety of pharmaceutical 
and nutraceutical companies to license the technology from Eastgate. You are more or less the Intel chip for most any company dealing with diabetes and non-invasive insulin delivery system applications. Very true, very true. Now, Eastgate owns numerous patents in both the pharmaceutical and nutraceutical business. Can you give me an overview of what this involves? What else do you expect to be rolling out during the next few years? At this point in time, we're still in the process of developing, and this is a lot of work as far as patents are concerned, and we just hired another set of lawyers to help us out in that area. Everything that has to do with this technology or technologies that we're developing and a number of products that we're developing, because by the way, not to miss another opportunity to mention it, we do have a tablet, dry tablet, or we also have a liquid, and we're also developing two more ways of bringing insulin to the body. So it is a true platform, and each product has to be protected separately. So we do have a lot of work to do, as well as the manufacturing process itself includes uh, the patented technologies as well as technology transfer. There is certain know-how that also is involved in this process. So it's not just simply a sensibility of this of the process. There is also a know-how that is very valuable. So that takes an awful lot of time and lawyer's time, but that work that we are doing now is extremely important for Eastgate as a company because any kind of this type of technologies have to be Protected. You're a public company, and that means you have shareholders and potential shareholders, some of them perhaps listening to the segment now. What can you say to them about where the company's heading during the next six months? Well, I would like to mention to the shareholders that they should be looking forward to our basic ability to bring the product to market in the most efficient and expeditious way. Because this product that we're looking at are extremely important for patients, and we are potentially all patients because diabetes is an ever so difficult condition and it affects children, grown-ups, and elderly. So we are doing everything possible to bring this product to the market as soon as possible. And I'd like to mention one of the methods how we're doing it. We're a small company, and we're basically a biotech company, which means that we're developing not new drugs in our case, but existing drugs with different delivery systems. That's basically our mantra. But uh, being a biotech company, we certainly are not distributors and marketers of our products. So the way we're trying to cut down on the development time for these products is joint venture partnership. Joint venture partnership with manufacturers and distributors of similar products like tablets and uh, sprays and liquids and whatnot. We are trying to attract, and I must say we've been very lucky because without saying anything publicly now that I shouldn't be saying, the interest is pretty high. What we're trying to do is we will develop the product and scale up and manufacturing process and then the partner will take over and do the marketing and distribution and registration, which is most important in their specific jurisdiction. By having this type of partnerships around the world, we probably can manage five or six of them, we will be able to cut down on the development process, I would say probably by uh, 18 months or two and a half years. Can we expect some acquisitions for this public company down the road? We certainly would be developing different associations, and in some cases, we are pretty small, so acquisitions would be definitely available there for, if nothing, other companies, but certainly for a number of technologies. Some of them we develop, some of them we acquire, and change to suit uh, our portfolio. Anna, we appreciate your time with us today. Thank you so much for joining us on Intel Radio. Thank you so much. I've been speaking with Anna Gluskin, CEO and Chairman of Eastgate Acquisitions Corporation, trading on the OTC under the symbol ESAQ. For Intel Radio, I'm Ellis Martin. Thank you for joining Ellis Martin on Intel Radio. Please note that Ellis Martin is not a licensed investment advisor, and Intel Radio is not intended to provide investment advice. For more information, go to InvestorIntel.com or email info at InvestorIntel.com. 